So Google has launched a new capability in the Google Cloud Platform called Context Caching with the idea of helping you reduce the cost of requests that contain repeated content. This works not only for text, but also for audio, image, and video. Currently, Gemini 1.5 Pro is supported, but Gemini 1.5 Flash will also be supported very soon. Context Caching is appropriate to use when you have things like chatbots with extensive system instructions, repetitive analysis of lengthy video files, for example, recurring queries against large document sets, or frequent code repository analysis or bug fixing. So the way it works is that say you have your prompt with a very long piece of context without caching, you just submit your entire prompt for response generation and then get an output. But with caching, that big piece of context is then cached and the smaller portion of the prompt, which could be, for example, the question you're asking against a set of documents that will be submitted together with the cached context for response generation and then you get an output just like before, but the context cache is gonna cost a lot less in terms of price per character or per token. So how much cheaper exactly? So the price without caching is what you see here on the left side of the table, and the price with caching is what you see on the right side of the table. Now do note that when you enable caching, you also pay for the storage of the cached content so the pricing calculation gets just a little bit more complicated, but you can save up to 75% when you're working with caching. For example, if we take the text modality of Gemini 1.5 Flash, the regular price is 0 0.000125 per 1000 characters. And with caching, you basically get a value which is one fourth or 25% of that price. So that's a 75% discount, but of course there's also a price per hour of stored content in a cache. To give you a more concrete example, imagine you have a context of 100,000 characters, which is about 25,000 tokens. What that looks like, by the way, is a 30 page document similar to this one here. So that's a fair amount of text, but it could easily be something that you have as part of your context. So let's assume you submit that prompt about 300 times in an hour. Without caching, the pricing would look like this. So it would be $37.5 an hour. And with caching, you would have a much cheaper price per character. And even when you account for the storage of the cached content, in this case, you would have about $9.4 an hour, which is 74.9% cheaper than the original price. So how do you go about setting up a context cache? In the documentation, which I'll link in the video description, you can see some code examples for the Python SDK. Basically what you have to do is you provide your contents that you wanna cache. In this particular example here, that corresponds to two PDF files. And then you create a cached content object by calling the create method on the cached content class and you pass in the name of the model, the system instructions, and the contents which are the cached contents. And by the way, the TTL here determines how long the cached content is going to be valid for. So that is how you create a context cache. And the way to use it is to basically refer to that cached content when you are submitting a prompt with Gemini. So in this case here, we call the generate content method on a model that has been instantiated with the from cached content method. And then you pass in your cached content, which you can refer to by passing in the ID, which you get when you create the cache. So I hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching.